All right, I've been waiting to open this up. Fairly certain I know what it is. All right, let's see. Yep, sweet. Looking forward to playing this, but uh, I have to wait until I get my laptop back, so. Yeah, you guys might not have known this, but if you bought the game from Amazon, a physical version, you could have gotten a free steel case, um, at least with the PC physical version. And yeah, it's pretty cool. You paid the same price, and they just threw in this steel case for free. So, pretty neat little extra here. So I'm using this little Chromebook right now these days, but uh, I was checking on my laptop's uh, service status from MSI, and I was surprised to see that it's already shipped. Now, they said that it would it could take 10 to 30 business days for them to fix this sort of a thing, but it took like a day, maybe two days. So let me, uh, let me check here. Okay, what the, when this thing's gonna be coming in. What? This Friday? Right, she just came in the mail. I am so happy. Also, just found out that there's a new article on Beyond Good and Evil 2. Yep, yeah, it's gonna be a good day. she is. There she is. There they go. Oh, even that works now. That's right, folks. The laptop is back in town. Who let the laptops out? I'm bringing laptops back. And any other cheesy pop reference music that you can think of, this mildly morose man is now a little less morose. Hello, fellow space monkeys. This is the Mildly Morose Man, otherwise known as Dan or Dan the Man, whichever you fancy. I am here to bring you another thought-provoking video, and we will eventually get back to talking about Beyond Good and Evil 2. Be sure to subscribe if you want to stay up to date on all things Beyond Good and Evil 2. So, I just wanted to share some quick thoughts and impressions on Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice, for the rest of this video. A full Can Beyond Good and Evil 2 Learn from Sekiro video will be coming eventually but I'd like to try and beat the game first. I say try because I have never beat a Dark Souls game before. I started with Dark Souls 2 and played the game for a good long while, but I got to a point in the game where there were hundreds of little statues shooting poison at me, and I decided that I would never play the game again. So, I'm not a huge fan of the Soulsborne formula, and from what I've played of Sekiro so far, it has got the same feel, and even though I'm only about five hours into the game, I have died countless times. But I'm hopeful that I'm actually going to be able to make some good progress in this game. And there are three reasons why. And the first reason is that there are obvious branching paths. If you are playing this game and you're having trouble with the first couple of mini bosses, then take your time to explore the area and look for hidden details. There's a really important item early on that opens up a branching path that is super helpful for character progression. The game has a skill tree that has been helpful as well, but most importantly, this game takes time to get good at. So it's nice to be able to face a different challenge instead of hitting your head against the same brick wall over and over again. Then, if you get stuck there in that alternate path, you can hop back over to the starting zone to see how you've actually gotten better at the game. The second reason has to do with combat. You might not be aware, but From Software has actually found a way to make their game even more challenging. In previous titles, blocking and dodging were the ways to survive and learn enemies' movesets. 
now there is blocking, dodging, and jumping. And they are each uniquely effective to various moves, uh, sort of like rock, paper, scissors. It's complex, and I'm still getting the hang of it. But it makes sense, and it adds another layer of gratification to the combat when you finally read a boss's move correctly and manage to get the right timing on the counter. Finally, the movement of the main character is so much better than the previous Dark Souls game I played. You are able to run by holding down the dodge button. You are equipped with a grapple hook for horizontal mobility. Sneaking is my personal best friend. And it looks like there are even more mobility options to unlock in the various skill trees. I appreciate this because it makes me feel more in control of my character, and it helps me run away whenever I draw too many enemies. So those are some of my first impressions of the game so far. When I hopefully actually beat this game, I'll make a complete Beyond Good and Evil 2 learning video. Have you been playing Sekiro? Let me know what you think about the game so far in the comments down below. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video at all and a dislike if you didn't. Thanks for watching and be back for the next one if you want to stay up to date on all things Beyond Good and Evil 2.